If you want to crush the man's, you can't look like a shriveled platy puss. You have to lift the heavies. Don't forget about the cardio, too. Alright boys, the time has come to do something I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do this episode. I do know we're at war with Wild Bro Fast in Lighter's World, and I also know that there's a quest in here that I want to take instantaneously. Um, before we take that, though, let's check what this is really quick. Ah, uh, Gemenberg. Deliver cargo to Gemenberg. I actually want to do that to see if we're gonna get anything um, uh, fancy up there. Also, we're on the lookout for hunters this episode, and we also have some gear we need to dole out. So, our best tank is going to be Hobo. So it makes sense, with Hobo having 87 fatigue, to drop off this uh, heavy horned plate helmet. He's the only person who can really use it, and he looks cool with it. But the other option is to give Puriel the full helm here. Uh, he doesn't necessarily even need it either at 83 fatigue. It's crazy, these guys. But you know what? We're going to have to give it to Hobo, I think. It sucks because he looks so cool. But at the same time, best tank, best helm, I suppose. He still looks kind of okay. Once we get a butter helm, uh, I actually want to buy some butter paint this episode as well. He'll be a little bit better off. So we just gained uh, 50 armor on Hobo, and we actually gained 3 fatigue. That is a ginormous upgrade. Let's do a few more upgrades here, speaking of. I want to give Ozark one of these guys. 230 armor which is way better than the 210 now he's gonna lose the cool uh butter styling but it's a little stronger and he also looks pretty cool we'll give the new or the old one rather to logan in the back line and then i figure on sir serious here he can take a slight downgrade of 25 uh armor but he gains seven fatigue that's really critical since he's at 59 and he's really low anyway so a boom Actually, you know what? Let's give him the, the more more repaired one. And then lastly, we actually have no one else to give the last one to, believe it or not. Everyone is fully decked out in some fancy gear. I suppose the smart move would be to give it to Logan M. It, it is an upgrade. We just lose the beautiful helmet, and I love it so much. It's so, it's so colorful, but alas. Ah, sigh. There goes the colors, and here comes the fancies. I wish you could remove paint and, like, reuse it. That'd be cool, huh? Uh, in any event, we're looking uh, pretty strong here. I think it's time to go play the game a little bit. Why don't we uh, take this quest? Just take the armor really quick. See if there's any fans. Ooh. No, we don't want that. We don't want any of these things. Let's take this quest and we can see if there's any arrows or anything that we need here. No, they do have some cheap tools, but we're pretty well set up on that. Uh, we'll deliver this and then we'll come straight back. It's an escort quest, so we may get attacked. And then I'll take this quest, which is just uh, hunt up like 35 guys, which we can do basically up here in this camp. Oh. Seven unholds, huh? You gain 130 crowns. Gemenberg is well supplied. There's actually more stuff out there as well. It's always exciting when there's well supplied stuff. Oh, not today, I suppose. We'll yoink a little bit of that. Ooh, look how many tools we chewed through the way here. That's crazy. 196 for these. Okay. One, two, three. Beautiful. I don't see any. Ooh. Uh, no, never, I, I see the colors and I get excited. Ah. Wow. Iron Guard's Helmet of the Wolf. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty. F Ooh. A black butter boot. This is not a bad helm at all. 159 for negative five. That is a pretty sweet helm for the money. I like that a lot. Huh. All right, we'll keep that in mind for a second. Let's go check out the weaponsmith. 
Ooh, things for days. A one-handed mace, Espen Bloodbeard's Mauler. Yeah, I can't say I'm interested in a one-handed mace, although it does have a lot more effectiveness against armor. Eh, whatever. And over here, a one-handed hammer. Can't say I have any interest in that, but 225% effectiveness versus armor, 62% ignore. Eh, nah, I'm not that interested in these things. Ooh, a whip, although we already have two and I really don't need any more. So, hmm. You know what? I think we should try to buy the helmet, to be honest. Let's check the mans really quick. We see so Wolf Hot. No, we don't need him. We need hunters and nothing but. So we could sell a lot of this stuff and make a ton of money if we go to the west. I was actually thinking of holding onto the noble sword for the odd occurrence where I might want to uh, use a shield. Like if we're say we're fighting a huge company with lots of arbalesters or something like that, I could definitely go shield, noble sword, and it's still sword spec. Regardless, we'll make a lot more money. Uh, if we were to come down here to Hammerhead and take that quest, run up here to kill these things, then go over to Hammerstead and sell stuff. The real question is, do we want to fight seven unholds in our current condition? Seven unholds is a bit much, and we still have something like 56 hours to get repairs, so the answer is no. Let's come down here to Hammerhead and uh, take the quest, come up here to kill these things, go to Hammerstead, sell, sell all our stuff. And then come back over here and buy that helmet. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Barbarians, chase me, please. Who are you? Lots of reavers, some warhounds. Come at me. Come at me. Come on, boys. There's something over there as well. I want this quest fast. I don't know what direction they went in. Yoink, patrol the road. 35 things is what we need to hunt down. <laughs> and there's 15 of them. Lots of reavers is no joke, though. Let's be honest. It's kind of a joke. It's kind of a joke. 48 hours till we're fully repaired. Maybe I should do the smart move here and actually heal up for a little bit. And then we'll attack him tomorrow. Oh, the Garoon Forest Company wrecked him. That was a bad move. I should have just attacked him. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Okay, we're into Hammerstead. There's nothing going on here. Any hunters by chance? No such luck. They do have a pretty cheap bastard. Now, someone was telling me the only way you can get an assassin in the game is to have a bastard and an event pops up and then you can somehow get an assassin but the bastard dies? Or you get sacrificed? I'm not sure. You can trade him? I'm not sure exactly. Assassins are pretty sweet, so... And that's a really cheap bastard. I, you know what? I might just hire him for now for the sake of having a chance of that coming up. So let's yoink him. We won't even name him. We'll just keep him... Yeah, he's really terrible. <laughs> like, what is he? We're gonna call this Helfric. Uh, no, how about we call him Toodle Doodle. Toodle Doogle. For no particular reason. Awesome. That's a fitting name. Into the back row, boy. Maybe he'll get it. Maybe we'll get the event. I don't know. <gasps> More butter helms. We really honestly should buy that uh, other thing instead. Let's see if we can sell off these things for a ton. I did want to save these for trees. I'm not interested in anymore. We'll just sell them or tree shields. Uh, I've lost all interest in those things. We'll get rid of the crude javelins, all these things. Pikes for days. Spears will keep. Mace, beautiful. I think this is enough uh, random stuff. How many? You know, I kind of don't need these helmets at all anymore. It's a fancy helmet, but we just don't need it, boys. There's our money already. Oh, I just, I think we got to get rid of the horned helmet. It's just not nearly as good, to be entirely honest. And we have enough heaters and shields for a thousand years. Whew, all right. This is looking, and I get to keep the noble sword. We got money for days. Let's go buy us some stuff, shall we? But first, we clear out whatever's it. Many armored Vidaganga. And then also something up there. So this will be an easy, easy montage. Why the heck are there camps with only nine zombies at this stage of the game? What is this? I, I left that there so it gets stronger, not weaker. 
In any event, there's got to be a huge party out here, and that's why uh, Roman the Land... Yeah, there we go. Twelve. Well, that's not huge. Any stretch of the uh, imagination, I suppose. We go kill some more easy things, and I edit for a hundred years. Well then, we're killing Zambi and editing a lot. Do -do -do -do. That's my song for today, friends. We need to find something more interesting than stuff that wouldn't even be incredibly interesting on day one. <laughs> Just a little bit more interesting, please. All right, we've made it back into Gemmenberg in like one day, hopefully. Wow. Uh, I was gonna say, hopefully it's still here. Actually, it's not. Oh, wait. Ven what the heck? So it's not here, and it's instead been replaced now by something that's almost identical, except we also have negative vision. Huh. The Venerable Owl Helmet. I actually like the last one with the wolf pelt. That's unfortunate. The Distinguished Decorated Nasal Helmet. Eh, 224 for negative 10. Not a fan. Here's one. Sir Erlindus Lindworm's head. 331, negative 17, unaffected by acidic lindworm blood. That's pretty fancy. Not that we could afford it. I'm supposing that because we... Oh, and also there's a leprechaun bar boot, in case anyone was wondering. And look at all those mail patches if we wanted some. Uh, I'm guessing that when we came in and set up safe roads, that reset the inventory, maybe? So... Are there two weapons here? Yeah, they all changed. Here's a famed bardish. The Cruel Harbinger. Axe two-handed. I've never seen a famed Bardish or Bardish Bardish before. I have no idea if this is good or not. It looks like the same damage. This I have no idea what it even is, to be honest. Well, there's the stats. If anyone's interested, I'm not gonna buy it because we're not going axe back. I think I will buy that helmet though. It's weird that it's like basically the same thing but worse than the last one. And I think it's also oh, a little bit less expensive though, 400 less. It's probably still worth it for somebody. A yoink. Let's see who's going to get it. Well, I suppose it's most likely that we're going to need to keep Gene alive over anyone else. Victor's a little sketchy. Gene looks so cool, though. But I think if anyone I want to keep alive, it's him at this point. So we'll give him this thing once again. Sort of a downgrade-ish. Not really, though, completely. Victor, you can have the beautiful Butterhound. Looking pretty fancy, followed in Gene's footsteps. And there we go. We've got, uh, really nothing to do here but go find some guys and kill them. Okay, so when we go to turn in this quest, we still need to kill 14 more- Oh, hold- <laughs> Hello? Brigham Hunters. Oh, a few water dogs isn't gonna count. This is gonna- What is- Why is the game reverted in difficulty to easy day one or something? It's like six skeletons, eight skeletons, and brigand poachers in the lands. Alright, fine. Many marksmen. Wow, that's a lot of marksmen, but, you know, nighttime, so there you go. My god. I just... Uh, Ghost was murdered by a crossbow bolt to the head in the night. Followed by an archer hitting him with the club. I just wanted the kills for the mission, guys. Why does... Ah, the fact that dogs just cannot get head armor. And archers just hit him in the head at night time for no reason. Well, there goes my unold armored ghost for just literally no reason. RNG's like, you know what? We haven't had him suffer lately. Let's just casually murder his pup with a crossbow to the skull. In the easiest of all missions. Oh boy. Woo. All right, Ozark and Logan got a level. I have determined I am getting out of the north after three mind-numbingly boring battles, moving one tile in the snow really slowly in the death of ghosts, just so unceremoniously too. It's just, oh, hey, you had a puppy's dead now. 
because that archer shot him at the head for no reason. Uh, Logan finally gets the battle forge, which is great, fantastic. That that was just that was just such a depressing moment, just in silence in my room, like. Ugh. This is a very, very depressing moment. I want to get out of the north. I want to go somewhere else that's not in the snow uh, and see what we can find out there. Boom, boom, boom. Fantastic, Logan. Logan is finally ready for the front lines, boys. And ready for the front lines he shall be. Ozark, by the way, at long last, finally has a level. I think we said we were going to go recover because he's been like... Uh, incredibly low on fatigue as of late. Yoink! Nice max roll on the melee defense, Ozark. My god, look at his freaking character right now. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Alright, uh, let's come back down here to Hammer Den. If I have to turn this in with 30 out of 35, that's okay. I think. I just want to stop fighting things in the snow a little bit and see if I can find some more engaging. You know what I really want to do is go after some companies down here. That would be really fun. Let's go turn this in. 22, 20 crowns. Hammer Den has safe roads. In we go. Do they have a hunter by chance? Of course not. Do they have fancies? Ooh, they did so many fancies today. The marvelous cell swords hide. 309 for 25. That is not too bad. I prefer higher armor, though. I'm going to buy the butter paint because I really want it. That is the cheapest sell it I've ever seen. However, uh, I'm not super sure if we want to spend money on it or not. Let's go see who's going to get the... Ooh, can you put paint on fame things? I've never actually... Literally, I've avoided buying paint my entire life because I always thought it was a waste of money. And now I just... I really feel like I want to do it for some reason. Hobo! Beautiful! The butter hobo. Although it doesn't look so buttery. It's like red and black instead of red and orange. But eh, whatever. Butter hobo is better than no hobo, I suppose. Stock up on ye old tools that are super cheap, ye old salts that are always cheap, ye old grains that are always cheap. Uh, arrows are not too bad here, yoink yoink. We have plenty of things to sell, plenty of things to do. It's time to go find something new. I want to go hunting companies, I think. Let's see if we can get some more fanciful armor down here. I'm going to be very careful as I go so as not to get ambushed or have something stupid happen. Our repairs are only 14 hours away, finally. Look at this. Who even knows what this is? It's 11 brigands. Well, we know who it is. It's a bunch of losers is who it is. Uh, I suppose. All right. That was an easy peasy. Let's go find some. Ooh, so serious. Ooh, also a war brand, some more stuff. All right. Looks like uh, I ran out of inventory space. All right, let's get rid of all this nonsense because I hate all of it. Beautiful. Guess I should have sold some more stuff, but more importantly, battle forged on so serious. Now we're talking. Let's love all oh, the melee defense. Didn't quite make the cut, did it? Um, you know what? I think it probably still makes the cut regardless. So there we go. Awesome. And now we're looking good. The front line is an actual legitimate front line here. Something I wanted to do is actually take Mark R's shield off. He doesn't really need it. Uh, and this way I can quick hands into the ancient bladed pike more fortunately. Victor will have duelist and about 700 experience. We'll drop the shield on him as well. Brian M could also drop it since he has nimble. That might remind me that I have the pike. Um, or I could just start with the pike, because I pretty much never use it to be... You know what? I think I will. Let's drop it off. Do something like this. Awesome. And we can always grab the whip if we need it. And then, does Gene really need... You know what he doesn't need is the dagger? Although we're kind of out of inventory space. Uh, let's get rid of the dagger. And in that spot... I think I want to put the bandage over here from Brian M. He's far more likely to be able to utilize it. Awesome. Awesome, McPawsome, friends. That's a little bit too much. I'll probably throw out these shields or whatever, or give some give some of the mans. Uh, let's have Troglodyte down here. <laughs> Just go full carry mode. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Enjoy. 
I wonder if this was a company over here or what's going on. I'm really curious. Looks like they were chasing beasts not too long ago. There's a lot of stuff down here. There's just literally 700 footprints. What am I looking at? The rightful ravagers. Woo! Hired by a house or Conan. Some chosen, some reavers. I want to see that. Charge, boys! I don't even know what I'm getting into, but it sure does sound fun. Woo! 37% on Hobo. That's half his health in one attack. All right, we'll be sure to learn this guy a lesson in about six seconds. First, 8% softening, huh? Oh, that's because it looks like we're going to hit Hobo. Never mind. Uh, here's the way we're going to do this. Someone needs to come up here and rotate. It's going to be Sir Sirius. Poor Hobo. I am really surprised he got that low. We'll be all right, though. Ooh, actually, you know what? Hobo can just rotate himself out. That's probably the easiest way to handle this. I want to have Piro come up here and do some scout. <laughs> There's a barbarian in a net. Go scout, Piro! Woo! Hello. I want some of your gear. Yes, please. Oh, please don't murder my gear, though. We'll see in a couple of seconds. I wonder if Ozark could solo the Barbarian Reaver. We'll wait for him to come to us. Hmm, he did indeed move down. All right, Brian M. 72. This guy's pretty sketchy. Yeah. Uh, he's very sketchy with that axe. I actually want to fall back and let him go first. What's he going to do? Probably get rotated a little bit. Gage? Yes. Now we're talking. Bye, friend. Sup. I'll let these guys come over here and just fall back a smidgey. This guy's going to have to come off the hill, so it's not going to be fortunate for him in the slightest. I want to come up here and see what's going on. I see nothing. Surprise, surprise. Okay, perfect. It's a good layout. What do we got over here? 41s? Even at nighttime? Cross map? Sure. He moved once. And he's going to wait for me to attack him. Oh! Feel like a shot in the noggin. All right, boys. Enjoys. And he just walks down here and goes for the adrenaline. All right, then. Well, he's going to go before us, unfortunately, and I didn't keep a whip around for this. Brian M. has no shield. That axe is super dangerous, but at the same time, we're fine and dandy here. Puril could move over it. A Samiji widgie Ozar can soften him a bit. Hmm, unfortunately, I can only move down there. He's going to go for a round swing, and it's going to be literally crazy. It's going to be like the most craziest thing I think we've ever seen in the history of seeing things. So, Sirius, take the spot. Thank you very much. Boom. Okay, no good. Once I hit this button, I'm not looking forward to that round swing. Here it comes. Oh, what a loser. 17, 35, 36, 45, please. Listen to the rest of the chosen and get murdered out there like losers. Oh, 
Okay, I think we're done with this nonsense. Let's get into the actual battle, shall we? Oh, hey, boys. What do you guys got up here? It looks like nothing I really care about except for that plate right there. Let's see if we can't farm it up. Ooh, that poor guy's head. Don't break my armor, please. I really want it. Oh, he's going to break my armor, isn't he? I don't want this guy to be able to walk and hit us at the same time. So we'll just go there. Oh, he did a little bit. It's okay. They're trying to snipe my hobo from behind the tree. Being the sneaky weasels that they are. Ooh, there's another one. Okay. Hey, friends. Jeez. Okay, things are getting interesting. There's three of these scaled armors here. These guys are running away, shooting up there. Beautiful. Looks like the murder and the barbarians for us. Casual random overwhelms. So ideally, I want this guy to go for that kill, which I think he's going to do in 15 turns. This one I mostly just want to farm. I am really hope he doesn't do a round swing. Eh, he might. As long as I don't give him another target, I think we might be okay over there. Uh, another option, of course, would be to disarm him, but I kind of want him to actually kill that one to soften things up. We could disarm this one or this whip guy who goes in one turn, which is actually probably my best bet because he's going to rip some of our armor off and waste our time. Unfortunate. it. How about over there? Oh, well. Yep, he definitely ripped off some of our armor and is wasting some of our time. No surprises there. I have to have Puriel chase these archers down along with Hobo because they're both wounded. It's the second time I've missed. Ah, oh, the poor Chosen's getting his armor beaten off. Gage, now's the time, friend. Beautiful. And so Sirius can start moving up for farmy times. I want to actually wait to see what if this guy kills that one or not. Here we go. Oh, he tried with the 55. I think I'll take him down now. Okay, I'll just miss another 84. It's cool. Boy, that archer sure is fighting back. He's evading all the maneuvers. Huh. I don't really care about the axe. He's not going to hit us. I care actually more about this over here. At the same time, I could go double whip to knock out this one, maybe. Or, you know, miss a 77 and then hit the head on the, on the other one. Sure. It's close It's close to what I was looking for, right? I'm going to let this guy go because I really want him to kill that one. I mean, if we're not going to do it, someone needs to, right? All right, Ozark, farm me, farm me. <laughs> Come on. Like the fifth 87 in a row that I've missed. Now, if I come over here, there's going to be guys to murder. I might want to rotate myself up and go crazy. I think I actually do. That's probably a bad... I mean, I could also farm fairly decently on this guy. It's really difficult, though, to know. I mean, I want to farm and I want to kill, but I really want to farm. And this guy is going to be uh, uncontrolled in a second. He's got some pretty fancy gear as well. Like, really nice. I want that. Okay, you want to rely on the power of Ozarks or Sirius and Logan to fun on this guy? Well, I come over here and deal with killing some of these guys. I should be fine and dandy. Come on, Sir Sirius. 
63, 63, beautiful. I really don't want that guy to get this kill, please. Please. Logan, it's all of you. 63. Yes! Now we're talking, boys. If I take this guy down, that one won't go for him. Uh, he'll move up and do a round swing. So let's wait. <laughs> he just can't hit it. All right, that's it. Done with you boys now. What is going on up here? This guy is actually almost broken. This one is half health, but wow, look at that. He's bleeding, and I can farm his armor in the not-too-distant future as well. Absolutely love it. Okay, now they're going to turn tail or turn on us. Wow, that archer, though. 43-17 on Puriel. Look at him. Look at him repel. Another 27 hit over here. I'm feeling like these their archers are a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. But, you know, when an archer's not ridiculous, as we've learned this episode already. Okay, I can move here with Gage and go for the kill. But if we fail, bad times ahead. But not too bad times. Uh, should be pretty easy. 95 hit him in the head. And he hits us twice for just my god game. He was an archer. He dodged like 90, 80%, and he hit a 53 and 43 to go out. Now we're bleeding on Gage. However, he was an archer. So he doesn't have any crazy spec. My god, Gage. He should have only, yeah, five for two, so that puts us down to two hit points on Gage. That is scary. Brian needs to come over here and dis disarm this man. And that means we need to wait for people to move. It's actually getting a little dicey over here now. All because of archers. That and us hitting in the head, of course. Uh, as much as I want to farm this guy's armor, here's the better move, right? Let's rotate out over there. And then we can run away with Gage, maybe. Uh, in the very near future. And then we can do something like this, 89. Or we can wait for even better odds after I crash him. And hopefully, hopefully, these archers don't murder every one of us. Come on, Ozark. Farm me, farm me. We'll wait. 63 is not the best. That guy's just running away. doesn't even care anymore. Ooh, Markar. <laughs> Logan, 43. It's not really what I'm looking for. Let's have Sir Sirius come over here and rotate. We'll make sure Gage is completely safe out in the distant void. Toodles, friend! Or I could just hit him in the head. That's cool. And we finish with Ozark 73! Yes, now we're getting somewhere, friends. Come on, let's see your archers. Yeah, finally they missed something. Amazing. Okay, Gage, you can just go have a toodle party out here by yourself. I heard there was beautiful flowers to be picked. Victor! My god. It looks like he's throwing the arrows, like, backwards, honestly. Uh, I'm not even sure if Hobo can get there. He'll... That thing can't really pierce him for very much. This guy's coming back over here, which is very dangerous. Ozark, we need you to finish this up, like, right now. We can do this once, or we can recover for next turn twice. Probably before he goes. The same deal on Logan, probably before he goes. Uh, that means we're going to go for a disarm. Yoink. Yoink, yoink. Crash. Speaking of disarm, here we go. So serious as well. Beautiful. And we'll move this way, because this guy's going to be the next big pain on our side. <laughs> Woo! He did Pierce Hobo! My god, the poor little guy! Okay. Well, I guess just Hobo's not having a good day. These mercenaries, they're ruthless. <laughs> Speaking of ruthless.
Uh, I need to give Hobo... How far can he move? He's going to have all of his action points. He goes in one turn. He could move back here, no problem. Maybe we could actually hit a Javelin. There we go, at long last. Hobo, you need to seriously tootle. That is no good. This guy could come over here in six turns, eight turns. I go in one turn, and I can get right next to him. That's perfect. I guess we just go all out. I mean, we'll kill the guy eventually, right? It's only just going to take us a long time for no reason. Oh, the other one's coming back now, is he? Markar, move, yoink, stabby. Now we're talking. Gage, get behind the tree. This guy can't hit me, can he? Wow, he could hit me like three times in the head. Amazing. Good good work, friend. I'm a little worried about Hobo, Hobo getting sniped. Nah, he's out of here. Battle over. Easy game. And we fawn him to literally all the gear just like we wanted. It was just a little dicey is all. Ah. Yoink. What up, boys? I heard that barbarian dance in some place. I don't know. I don't have a clue where. Sounds like he's right up here. You know what? I think he's actually running away, which is fine by me, so we'll end it there. Whoo! Now that took... We took a lot of wounds there, but A, they had some pretty crazy luck with their archers, just hitting everything and dodging everything. Um, and more importantly, though... Whoo! <laughs> Hello! One, two, three lamellar harnesses. A male shirt, if we wanted that for some reason. Got another flat top with mail. We picked up a thick-plated barbarian armor, which, if you look at it, is the exact same thing as the Lamellar Harness, except it's five additional fatigue for no reason. Uh, we also picked up an arming sword, a blunt cleaver, skirmish axe, not one, but two heavy rusty axes. We actually picked up a war bow, amazingly enough. That's like 500 gold. We, speaking of, we picked up like 350 gold, 14 tools, 8 tools, and like 60 food, and a fair bit of stuff and bandages and all that good things. That is one heck of a loot return, friends. It's going to drop off probably uh, all these super lame circle shields. All right, that looks pretty good. 117, boom, boom. Off we go, friends. That was a heck of a return. Now, here's the question. Did I need those lamellar harnesses? Because I'm not actually sure if I did or not. Well, first of all, Logan needs Battleforge. So that's a ginormous... Or, sorry, he needs it for Battleforge. That's a ginormous upgrade for him. We're going from 170 with 21 to 230 with 30. Uh, however, of course, fatigue's going to be a bit of an issue for him there, but whatever, it looks good. Now that he's a frontline guy, we really don't need that range defense. What we need more is a heater. It's just sort of like, Mc it's like a McDonald's lion heater. So I suppose we can go for that. Uh, meanwhile, Puriel already had one of those harnesses. Sir Sirius has been using this ridiculous decayed coat of scales. This is 10 less armor, but at 6 less fatigue, so that's fantastic. Yoink! And then meanwhile, it's either Ozark or Hobo. They both have the 210 armor, and they both have strapping and padding on them. But yeah, I guess we needed two of them. It's probably definitely an upgrade for someone, although since I have these here, 250 for 30. I mean, it's the same exact thing, but less. We could add padding to it and make it better, but alas. I think that was uh, I think that was well worth it, to be entirely honest. We've really upgraded all the mans to a fantastic position. All right, I got everything set to repair here, which is quite a lot. We need to repair here, so I suppose it's time, friends. It's time to go to Gruen Forest and look for hunters. No, that's I want to do that. I really do. But first, let's go to Hammer Down. We're going to need tools after all those repairs. Looking up here, we need 93 tools. We're going to chew through those like crazy. And then while we're up there, we can uh, take a hit over to Hammerstead and sell everything up. Ooh, friends! They want us with a two-skull contract to siege Himmelsburg. How many crowns did you say, good sir? 3,370. Uh, let's go take a look, because I actually, for some reason, am drawing a blank on where Himmelsburg is. Himmelsburg is way down here. That's why I'm drawing a blank. That actually sounds kind of fun. While we're down there, we could do some company missions. I think I like that a lot. Before we commit to it, though, and since it's going to be there for a couple of days, 
Uh, let's head up to Hammerstead and sell off our stuff for a pretty penny. Then we'll come back here on the way down and see if we can't take that. We're going to have to hit up Gimmenberg, I think, for tools as well. Because we're going to be out. And they didn't have any because they were uh, they had like witches and whatnot. We could do the witch quest really quick and clear it up so we could buy more tools there. Which indeed I probably should do. Uh, there was a witch, uh, uh, one skull witch quest in Hammer. Hammer a den as well. Ooh. Yoink. We're going full style today, friends. Full style and nothing but. We sell everything. And we get rich. Woo. 545. Great boat. Beautiful. Look at these axes. 375 apiece. I don't think we're going to need this many uh, axes or that many of those guys. The daggers are kind of over the top now as well. Let's get rid of some of these dopies. I think we're really good on the kite shields. We'll just keep those ones and the heaters. I imagine we'll start losing heaters when we fight barbarians again, so I don't want to uh, oversell them for sure. And as far as these things go, I think we're done with the decayed stuff. It served us very well, but it's just no more use for it. I, there's no use for a male shirt as far as I can see either. Not seeing the decayed helms being worth anything anymore. We can keep... We don't even really need the bassinet with male anymore, honestly. The flat top's just straight up better for our purposes. I hate to get rid of it because it's beautiful butter colored, colored, but alas, it's gone. You guys are gone as well. 7,900 crowns, friends, and there's still so many more things we could sell if we wanted to. But we don't really don't need to, so I'll just keep it here. Uh, yoink all their tools. I want to hit up the deep abdominal cut here on Gage. 25 hit points, 25% max fatigue. Let's get rid of that one. The other ones over here don't matter. They're just mostly damage, initiative. None of that really matters for Hobo. He can heal it off naturally. Uh, and these two quests were both lame. They were delivered things to the west where we don't want to go. I suppose it's finally time to get rid of some of these Nuggin Bunkers. We'll get rid of some of these guys. I, I really just am wondering when we're ever going to find another Hunter to clear up our inventory here. This is looking incredibly strong. I really don't want this thick armor, but I mean, I think it's worth repairing. And we're working on it, so we'll get there eventually. Let's go take that quest. Let's go to the south and let's end the episode in a little bit of a siege, shall we? Maybe part one of the siege. We'll see. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. They mentioned in the tavern here there was a thing to the northwest, presumably right there. It was called like a tribal hut, uh, which indicated to me that it's probably a pretty lame place filled with barbarians. So we could go up there in the future. Not that I couldn't have, you know, guessed that. What with that being the only place we haven't explored. And into Gemenberg we go. Gemenberg, let's look for some cheap... Ooh! Ooh, there it is. One, two, three. Uh, we're going to be gone for a while, so cheeses make some sense because they last. Ooh, a bird. Uh, first of all, let's buy... I'm going to overbuy the arrows because they're really cheap here. Did we actually get every single thing repaired? Just about. We still have a couple armors we're working on. I think I actually want to buy this bird. Let's check to see if there's any famed stuff. Yeah, it's all the same famed stuff as before. We could indeed buy more metal pauldrons if we really wanted to. For our, uh, our lamellar harnesses, 270. It's probably a smart move. Let's buy this one. And let's go equip that one. It'll probably look a lot cooler on, say, Ozark. Actually, what is Puriel? Or Sirius? Sirius doesn't even have one. Interesting. All right, let's do this. Boom. Eh, it's okay. Ozark's currently a 250 with 30. This is... Uh, 270 with 34. I suppose we can have sort of serious hold on to that. Let's actually reformate here. So we have a spear between everyone. So we have Gage between two spears. We have Ozark between two spears and me between two spears. Uh, we'll additionally throw Gene right in the middle. Let's move Brian M over there and Victor over here. So we have arrows on both sides and we have pikes on uh, both sides with disarms over here. And disarm with Gage in the middle if we wanted it right there. Fantastic. We're going to yoink the bird. We're going to yoink a little bit more grains. And we're out of here. I think we'll give the bird to Victor. I'm really sad that we lost Ghost. Just out of nowhere and for no reason. Victor is like the least useful person most of the time. Until he gets duelist, then 
He'll be a little bit more useful, but usually he can throw the bird up on the first turn and not do a huge amount. Because uh, we have to wait for them to come to us on turn one, so he's the perfect person to have the bird. Let's go yoink that quest and get down there for the siege, I say. Travel to Himmelsburg in the south and help the siege! Woo! This is going to be fun. Fun, 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 fun. Himmelsburg's kind of a stupid place, but whatever. Let's see if I can get there safely without getting myself killed along the way. Ooh, wild bro fest, boys. They are not messing around. We need to find an alternative path here to get to uh, where we need to go, and that's going to be right behind Albstadt through this little cubby over here, assuming we don't get wrecked. Yeah, they, they caught the same thing that we caught, so they're going to be stuck behind us fantastic. That was scary there for two seconds. Although, did they have any hounds? They didn't, so we could have run away from them, no problem. What? Oh no! What are we going to do? There's a company of ten boys in our way. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we must murder them, I so Oh, they're look at them run! They're running! Come here, boys! Hired by Albstadt. Now, technically, what's our reputation with Albstadt? Threatening? Yeah, you're right, we're threatening. And for good reason, too. Let's see if I can't avoid these guys until we get out of the forest, because I hate the forest. There we go. How's it going, boys? Wow. Okay, they like to hit, apparently. 49, 49, 71, no problem. Bill hook, bill hook. Any fancy stuff for us? It looks like no. Now they have 10 enemies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is probably going to be really lame, unfortunately. Boy, do they really want to take down Gage. They are trying so hard. They have heard tales of the legendary man named Gage. They know. And for good reason, too. Now, I think what we should do is learn them a little bit of a lesson of what happens to mans who try to murder my mans. Shall we? Gage, off with his... Head! Well, close. No cigars, though. That's fine. Ooh, I could murder the pup for super damage. And then be like, sup? Mm. I actually want to attack this with Ozark and then rotate us up there and then go to Funtime Town. Of course, none of that's going to work out. <laughs> Anyways, this looks like it's going to be a pretty easy... Uh... Oh, Barakar! Ah, oh, damn it. He's so cool sometimes, and then other times he just... Just a bunch of drool. So all I see from Margar. Oh, look at little pup getting scared. Alright, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. What? 17% on Puriel's Pierce for 36 damage? Why are archers so good? They're like literally nothing in this game does more damage to me than archers. My god. This whole episode has just been like archers foiling my plans. Uh Okay, Puriel run away! One more pierce and he's dead! <laughs> Alright, I dropped the hound, guys. So please don't have his eyeball immediately pierced to death by frigging ultimate doomsayer archer guy. Peace. That would be very nice. We need to actually maybe, I don't even know what to do with Pyrrhal. We'll hide. We're literally hiding right now. I'm so scared from Archer. Come on, Archer. Don't murder little Jaws. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop hitting. These freaking, ah, they're not Archers. They're freaking like, they're, there's something else. I just. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't hit them. That's cool. Okay, don't worry about it. Ozark, finish! Oh my god, of course we hit him in the head. 
I need Sir Sirius to run down here, honestly. I feel like literally Jaws is about to die. And Hobo can't get there because of his wound, which gives him one more uh, action point for a movement tile. So he can't rotate in. Logan, I don't think, will be able to rotate. So this is not looking good, friends. Yeah, we can't rotate in for Jaws. This guy's going to go first. We can't. Maybe I whip him in the head. I don't know. What else am I going to do? Ooh, friends. So Sirius could have done it if I wasn't a dopey. Unfortunately, I was a dopey. And we're one fatigue short of saving Jaws. He's going to kill Jaws. He, I, I know it. It's going to be the episode of two hounds dead. Trying to, I just wanted to farm his water bow. Jaws! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, there's no reason... Okay, every game I've ever played in my life, archers are terrible when they're not arching. Archers in this game are actually better when they're not arching. They're actually more dangerous when they pull out a weapon. Almost killed Puriel. They killed two hounds just this episode. Guys, please. Please, Mark Archer, just finish him. It just the archer of he just he cannot be defeated, guys. He cannot be defeated. So serious? Yes, we have killed one archer. Whew. Well, we're losing hounds left and right. However, we picked up a bill hook, a war brand, a scrammer sax, hand axe. We did get the war bow, a pike. There's 350 gold. That's a lot of loot. Uh, random kettle hat. We don't need. Okay. Well, that's not really what I was um. That's not really what I was going for. I wonder what wound Peterdale got. I didn't even take a, a gander at it, to be honest. I don't think he got anything that I care about. 20% fatigue is what he got out of that. We got multiple... Oh, Mark R. Bloody hell, he mineraled melee skill the last four levels in a row. Okay, well, I suppose this time then, um, giving his broker's broken initiative will go for hit points... It's not going to be like the best hybrid there ever was. And at long last, friends, we're going to go for Recover and Headhunter. It's... I, I, I think this is a stupid. I just want to clarify. I think this is a bad perk, even for this specific scenario where we have 15% damage to the head from Brute. Unfortunately, we just didn't get... Our, our melee rolls did not pan out. We were supposed to have something like 86 or 87 melee. We ended up with 78. Still, though, uh, the Blade of Pike gives you plus 10, which is nice. And he will have a federally decent amount um, of opportunity to not get backstab, but get the flanking bonus. Uh, so maybe, maybe it'll work out. We can strip off some armor with the throwing axes, go for the... I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll play with it. If ever there was a time to make it useful, it would be now. So we'll play with it. Meanwhile, Brian M. Melee skill, fatigue, and this time around, he's got to go resolve. It's just way too low. Also, he can really use this uh, bladed pike now. Let's go for the polearm mastery so we can finally use it quick hands whip if we need to. And that's about it. All right, let's move down here. I'm not going to... Ooh, another mercenary. Many mercenaries. The militia is over here as well. I want to avoid... Actually, you know what? They're going to avoid me. Screw that. Hey, Obstat. Sup? We got places to be, things to do. Everyone's accumulated sores. However, Hobo has traveled the world. Hobo's in good spirits. You lose 12 medical supplies and everyone gets wounded? Never mind the pain, men. Embrace the soreness. Hobo, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> We're right before a siege. Men, put your boots on you. My god, why? <sighs> this is like the Mortal Pummeler quest where Hobo pushed the woman in the mud and then we couldn't, we'd lost enough rep that we couldn't buy the Mortal Pummeler for Puriel. Now Hobo is freaking telling everyone to march with no boots on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, a trading caravan. Some hands, a few guards. You know what? I don't really want to do that, to be honest. I probably should for the supplies since we're down to 35 meds out of nowhere. Uh, our company is not in the most fantastic of ways, so I'm gonna camp here for a little bit. We need to heal up for 12 hours anyway. Uh-oh. Whoa! The first Kraken Water Company. 
27. We need to lead these guys away. They have water dogs too, so if we get caught by them, someone could literally die. We need to lead them away here. And then come around to the other side of Himmelsdorf so that those guys don't kill the siegers. Because there was only a company of seven and a company of eight down there. This looks like a really small sieging. Uh, sieging. I thought some, something just happened down there, but nothing happened. Anyway, really small sieging force. This also buys us time to heal our wounds and repair and everything. Plus, attacking at nighttime is probably a good thing for us. All right, I suppose this is good. When's your return, friends? We shall help in the siege. One hour, 38 minutes. I don't know. The first, like, five battles will probably be 30 seconds, but we'll see. I honestly have no idea how long battles take uh, when I play them, how the episode's going to edit down. This is a kind of an interesting episode, though. We found him some stuff. Some guys got some levels. We went full butter helm. We got all these new Lamellar shinies. We got some new helmets on. And we lost some hounds, regrettably. We made a Decent amount of money. We bought a new famed helmet here uh, for Gene, the veritable machine. Did I? Oh, I actually have the orange and red paint. Who should we give it to? Uh, we got to get rid of the blue. Brian, ah, oh, that's a stupid helmet, though. We'll, we'll replace that very soon. Ozark, yes! Ozark back into the folds! He started the episode with butter helm, and now he'll end the episode with a literal stick of butter on his nose. Just attracting the mans. He'd be like, mans, over here, friends. There'll be butter on my nose. And they walk over and he gets them, or gives them what for, as they say. Anywho, uh, once we're returning, the siege. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. What? Oh, no. What are we going to do? There's a company of ten boys in our way. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we must murder them. I so Oh, look at them run. They're running. Come here, boys. Hired by Albstat. Now, technically, what's our reputation with Albstat? Threatening? Yeah, you're right. We're threatening. And for good reason, too.